Hello, I'm Winston in London. Welcome to my channel. This video is about growing staghorn fern from spores. And you need a few things to be laid out before you start. First of all, you need a container. And if you look at that container, it has perlite to form the bottom of the media that you're going to use. The second, of course, you need some kind of multipurpose or peat or equivalent. Then the last bit there is the spores. To get spores you will have to scrape them off the actual staghorn fern. You must have noticed the brown spot on staghorn fern and that bit you have to scrape them off from. The next stage is to get your multipurpose peat or whatever into the container which you will grow the spores. I'll do that off camera for you. Once the media is placed in the container to cover over the perlite, make sure that it remains flat and firm. Okay, the water has been added to the medium, soil medium, and even if you think you've added too much water, I will leave it for a while without covering it to make sure it dries. Because it has perlite at the bottom of it, it's usually very easy for the water to disappear. It doesn't take long for it to start to dry out somewhat. The next stage is to spread the spores which you've collected on the surface of the soil medium. Now you do it very carefully. Uh, some people have their own approach. I use a small paintbrush, tiny paintbrush, and spread it around gradually. Okay, let's have a look. You can see on top of the medium all those brown splashes of spores. Some people put just a few spores on the surface because I have quite a lot I decided to empty as much as I can okay I think it's been around for at least six months and it's better I use it up rather than save it for any longer time and that's how it looks because it has a lot of water in it, I will leave it like that for a while and sometime later I'll show you how I cover it with plastic. That's to keep it moist and in also to encourage the growing process. It's covered in plastic cling film and a piece of string is tied all around the top to ensure that the medium with the spores remains very moist. It may be necessary every now and then to either top up with a little bit of water or maybe a little bit of spray from a container 
how long will it take before it produces the little plantlets from the spores I am thinking it will probably take around three months if you're lucky a little bit before we'll see since I'm filming this video in such a way that at the end of it you'll see at least some of the spores growing thanks for watching I'm Winston in London thank you hello it's two months later and I can look at the spores placed in my container and I can see signs of the growing okay I'll put the camera on the tripod and remove the plastic so that we can have a look let me see have a look you can see that the spores have already turned into little plantlets uh, I'll try and see if I can get it closer for you yes we can actually see the little plantlets of the staghorn fern forming which makes it perfect for our experiment and proves that we can grow spores of staghorn and turn them into actual plants thank you for watching I am Winston in London.